Recently I've been looking at all the videos that you folks have been viewing in your droves, such as the potato growing tips, the potato growing hacks and the more recent potato growing experiment. That last video has been viewed over 100,000 times in the last three weeks alone and if you haven't seen it already, I'll put a link in the cards above. Growing potatoes is fantastic. It fascinates a lot of us because you never know what jewels are lying beneath that soil surface. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm growing large potatoes. Make sure you stay right to the end because not only are we going to see the results, I'm going to be giving you tips and hacks right away through this video. Learn all the secrets I use when growing large potatoes in containers and all that's coming up right after this. Welcome to UK Year We Grow, I'm Tony O'Neill. On this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this. I love growing potatoes, they're a fantastic crop to grow, they're so versatile. And I'm a big advocate of growing them in these 30 litre containers from the Oakland Gardens. I put a link in the description below for those. But by growing in buckets, you get to control the environment the potato grows in. You're not limited to the condition of the soil in your garden. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you one method that I use for growing large potatoes in containers. Right guys, before we go any further, you wouldn't use this method uh, to grow normal eating potatoes, although you can eat these potatoes, but it's really designed to grow a single potato as big as possible. And I can hear you crying now, why would you want to grow just a single potato? Well, if any of you have followed my channel for any length of time, you will know that I am looking to always push my growing skills. And with that in mind, I am looking to grow the largest potato in the world. And this is the method that I'm using for that. But it can be adapted in order to just grow really large potatoes and lots of them. I don't mind telling you folks, I am miles away from it. But for me, it's the journey, not the destination. But today, I'm gonna to take you through the exact growing method I'm using, and we are going to harvest these four containers. As you can see, we've got 250 litre, and we've got two 110 litre containers here, not the 30 litres that I normally grow my potatoes in. So the very first thing we need to do is chit or sprout our potato. We do this the same as we would for any other potato. And once we have the chit, I remove that sprout from the tuber, leaving just a small cone of potato attached. And this is planted in some compost with mycorrhizal fungi and left to grow on. Have you ever tried to grow from a single sprout or chit just like this? If you have, put a yes down in the comment section below. Let me know. So I keep planting this plant on and it'll go from one size to another, to another, and eventually, it will reach this flower bucket size. Once we have it in here, I will totally bare root the plant. And when we move it from this, I'll bare root it again and we'll remove all of those tubers that we no longer want. And eventually it will get planted into its final container. Now, whether that's a 30 litre pot, just like this one, or it's a 110 litre pot like the big ones we're going to be harvesting today. Feeding these plants I use a slow release fertiliser like blood fish and bone and also mix in a granular potato fertiliser. But this isn't the only feed that these will get. Throughout the growing season I will feed weekly with a liquid seaweed fertiliser. You can make your own or you can buy it in concentrated form as I have here. Our water is required only using rainwater which is stored in our rainwater collection system. See the cards above for that video. So there they grow until all the foliage has died back and it's now time to harvest them. But before we do that, I wanna to talk to you about the benefits of growing in containers. And I have six benefits for you. Benefit number one is that growing in containers is so much easier. There's no back-breaking work. You can plant these potatoes really, really easy and when it comes to harvesting them, it's just as simple. You're not having to dig trenches, you're not having to hoe up, you just put the potatoes in and cover them over and you're done. Tip two, harvesting them is just the same. 
you literally could just tip over the pot and anybody can do this it doesn't matter whether or not you struggle to bend over you can literally just tip the pot over and pick the spuds out and you'll see just how easy that is now as we get a bit further on benefit three there is much less damage from things like slugs wireworm and even the gardener when he puts his fork through the potatoes you don't get none of that when you're growing in containers benefit four when you're harvesting your potatoes, they're usually much, much cleaner than when they come out of the soil because the compost doesn't cling to the potato. Benefit five, growing in containers means you can store them in the container. All you have to do is cut the homes off and literally just stack those containers in a cold, frost-free place like a garage. And then you can harvest them as and when you want them. You don't need to be harvesting them all in one go, putting them into sacks to be able to store them. And the last benefit guys, benefit number six, you can grow these early. You can plant them as early as you like in a polytunnel or greenhouse. That gives you an added advantage over anybody else that's growing in the soil outside. Because if you grow in the soil outside, the frost is gonna take the tops off and set those potatoes back. But by growing them in a tunnel, in these containers, you can move them out after the last frosts. Now you know all the steps that I've taken to get the potatoes to this stage. Now's the moment of truth. Did we grow any large potatoes that's worth keeping for next year's seed? Or better still, did we break all the yards and get a world record? Who knows, but let's go and find out. Right guys, so we're gonna harvest the 250 litre containers and then the 110 litres. And I've got a couple of friends here to help me today. And that's Liz Zorab and Mr. J from By The Farm. Now, you may have uh, know these guys from a collaboration that we recently done uh, they have a homesteading channel and it's absolutely fantastic if you haven't seen that collaboration video there'll be a link in the description below and if you want to go to their channel and have a look I'll put a link up in the cards as well so you really should get across there because Liz you do loads of stuff on your channel don't you it's all sorts of growing uh, preserving and the poultry and everything it is a fantastic channel get across there and have a look guys so what we're gonna do now we're going to get on with these, we're going to cut off all the homes that are left and then we're going to get them onto the soil here and we're going to harvest these and we're going to have a look what's in them. And if Mr J can give me a hand, yeah. can pull out all these the weeds, whatever they are, so I'm not putting them on my soil. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Right guys, so if you remember, these are really wet at the moment. If you remember, we added perlite to some of these buckets and in one of the last videos, it didn't do very well. So I haven't got high hopes for this particular one or the other 50 litre, but we'll have a look to see what we get. If you guys want to give me a hand, split that one across and I'll get something to put them in. They're not huge, are they? Oh, hang on. Here we go. Looking a bit bigger. Yeah. Tell you what we'll do. We'll stick them on the ground by here for a moment. No monsters in you. No, just potatoes. Just potatoes. <laughs> well, a couple of big potatoes, guys, but nothing to write home about so if we do the same thing now on the other bucket guys we'll leave these potatoes in front of the buckets for now and then we'll sort that out as we go and again this one also has the perlite in and before guys I told you about why we added the perlite and it was in a bid to try and lighten up the soil thinking that the roots would do better in a soil that they could um, could get more free root growth in and also the drainage would be better but it's just not happening every bucket that's had perlite has been poor as far as I'm concerned okay right manage oh. okay okay <coughs> Again, you know, they're decent sized potatoes to eat, 
but not what we are looking for. And that was it after that one. And don't forget guys, ideally we only wanted one tuba because we removed all the tubers from these because we were after a giant potato. Um, we've got some good eating spuds, but uh, for the effort, I'm pretty disappointed on these so far. Right, these are the ones that I've got most hope in. And uh, these potatoes uh, were grown from last year's largest one that I grew and we cut it in half. And I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can see how I planted these big ones. Now, these containers are 110 liters each. And let's see, there's just one seed potato planted in this, guys. So, uh, oh, hang on. That's looking a little better. So we have lots of potatoes, nothing really gigantic, but they are large. Yeah. So, um, Definitely a reasonable size. Yeah. Again, still disappointed in what is produced. And the variety for this guys is Condor and it just happens to be the world record holder at the moment hence the reason we are growing it so I think what we need to do now is empty the last one and everything's gonna prey on that okay right right oh they're back <sighs> tip them on top of this one is it These are big containers, guys. Well, you're already, as, as you were tipping them out, you were some falling, look. Falling right from the surface. Well, I've got to say, for the... Oh, look at that. That's no. not good, is it? No. Here's some decent size spuds here. But no record breaker. That's another one, eh? Okay, Let's spread these out. Let's spread this out like this. And chuck all these big winds on you. And see what uh, what we have. Alright guys, as you can see we've got a lot of smaller ones in the front here and we've got some fairly, fairly large potatoes. Um, I've got to say I'm a little disappointed because initially I wanted just a single potato to come out there and look what we had. We, you know, we've had probably six or seven potatoes out of a bucket. But they will make good eating potatoes and next year we will need to try again. Now I have a few theories. I get potatoes of this size out of the 30 litre containers. For these 110 litres and the 50 litres, I think are doing us an injustice. And the reason being is, I think that part of the reason why the potatoes do so well is that the roots are confined to, the gro to a small growing area and the feed has to be taken up by those roots. In such a big container and one seed potato in this, as you saw, there was a lot of soil, there was no root in it. Um, and I think that's doing us a bit of injustice. So next year we're getting back to just a 30 litre container and we're gonna plant one seed in there. 
and you'll see that from some of my other videos but although these spuds are still large spuds so we've been growing large potatoes in containers as we suggested um, we didn't get our world record potato it's always next year and as I said earlier on in the video guys it's more the journey than the destination so that's it in this video guys I really hope that it's been of interest to you if you haven't already don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified each time we put out content just like this anyway Liz Jay thanks very much for helping me with the potatoes because I wouldn't have lifted those buckets on my own <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tony O'Neill I'm Liz Sora I'm Mr Jay and this is UK Year We Grow and remember folks you reap all you sow we'll see you in the next one bye bye